barrels, the stat that has taken over the league. While many casual fans look to batting average or home runs to see how their players are performing, a better metric and predictor of current and future success is amount of barrels and barrel percentage. So what is a barrel? The term comes from StatCast, MLB's tracking system that measures every inch of action on the field. Barrels combine exit velocity and launch angle. To be classified as a barrel, a batted ball must leave the bat at at least 98 miles per hour and be hit at a launch angle usually between 26 and 30 degrees, but can change based on the exit velocity. The harder you hit it, the more the launch angle range expands. For example, at 100 miles per hour, you can still barrel a ball at angles between 23 degrees and 35 degrees. Statistically speaking, barrels lead to home runs, extra base hits, and runs on the board. That's why scouts and analysts are watching this number like hawks. Not every hit is visually equal. Despite being the same in the box score at 100 miles per hour, double off the wall is much more impressive than a bloop double. Take this double by Garrett Mitchell, for example. Mitchell hit a bloop double with an exit velocity of 80.7 miles per hour and a launch angle of 58 degrees. Compare that to O'Neill Cruz's double last year when he hit the ball 121.5 miles per hour with a 12 degree launch angle. Two hits that are very different when watching, but appear the same in the box score and any extra base hit lists. Barrels tell a different story. They measure quality of contact, not just results. Want to know who's really hitting well even if they're not getting lucky? Look at barrel rate, the percentage of a player's plate appearances that are barrels. Barrels strip away luck and focus on skill. A high barrel rate means a hitter is squaring up the ball with force and precision, and that's a repeatable skill. So why does a certain angle and velocity lead to better results? It comes down to physics. When a ball leaves the bat at a certain speed and angle, it has the best chance of clearing infielders, outfielders, and even the fence entirely. MLB front offices are obsessed with barrels. A player with a low batting average but high barrel rate might be due for a breakout. On the flip side, someone with a high average but no barrels, they might be getting lucky. Teams now use barrel data in trades, free agent signings, and even in arbitration cases. It's become a reliable way to project future success and avoid costly mistakes. As hitting becomes more driven by barrels, even the equipment is evolving. Used by more and more players, torpedo bats are weighted toward the barrel, designed specifically to optimize swing path, improve bat speed, and train muscle memory for barrel contact. They are perfectly engineered to maximize barrel area and weight, which then leads to higher exit velocity and launch angle. While they may not be as crazy as we initially believed when the Yankees hit 15 home runs in their first three games, the majority of them coming from the torpedo bat, there has still been an overall increase in home runs for players using torpedo bats. Take Cal Raleigh, for example. While he has always been a home run hitter and hit 34 home runs in 546 at bats last year, this year with the Torpedo Bat, he leads the majors in home runs with 27 over only 267 at bats. This trend is not only seen in one player. Other players such as Anthony Volpe, Junior Caminero, and Austin Wells have seen an overall increase in home run and overall production. Barrels are also a favorite tool for fantasy baseball managers and analysts because they are predictive. A player with a high barrel rate might not have the results yet, but those results usually come, especially over a full season. They help you spot sleepers and busts before everyone else does. Take Andrew Benintendi, for example. While he isn't in a great offense, he has a high barrel rate and little to show for it. He ranks 14th in plate appearances per barrel, but only has 6 home runs in 162 at bats. If you are looking for a deep sleeper, he may get hot. Compare him to someone like Mike Trout. Trout has 8 more at bats, 170 yet. Despite having a lower barrel rate, he has 5 more home runs this year. The top five players in barrel rate this year are Seiya Suzuki, Onail Cruz, Shohei Otani, Peter Alonso, and Aaron Judge. These players can all possibly be fantasy league winners. Whether you're a fan, a scout, or a fantasy GM, if you're not watching barrels, you're missing half the picture. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new today, please hit that like button, comment your thoughts, and subscribe for more deep dives into the numbers behind the game. If you enjoyed this content, please consider watching this video on an umpire's worst nightmare. Thank you.